Hello. So if you've just bought new padding or packing material for your column, or you've got uh, existing packing, which is you've, uh, you've done four or five washes and it's getting a bit grubby, uh, then yet yeah, you need to wash it. So I have quite a lot of copper SPP that's really could do with a clean. So we're going to test out three different um, publicly available, announced, published, whatever you want to call it, uh, ideas of the way, the best way to clean them. And this can be obviously for copper packing as well as for stainless steel, steel packing. Um, your alembic head, um, your, your copper pot steel, or your stainless pot steel, anything you want to. So this isn't really that mucky, but we're going to try this. Now, what we're going to do is we've got uh, three different types of things we're going to test. And that's citric acid by itself and water, then citric acid and table salt, and the last one is citric acid and hydrogen peroxide at 3%. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make up three mixtures in these pots, all 500 ml of, um, all around about 500 ml of um, the solution in each of these. And I've got a little post notes to say, well, this one's just citric acid, this one's citric and salt, and this is citric and hydrogen peroxide. And I'll be soaking um, a couple of handfuls of my copper SPP in these, and we'll leave them for an hour. And then for the head, I've put three different little bits of tape saying what they are, like this is citric. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rest it like this, pour in a pool of just citric acid and water, um, and then I'll clean it off and then I'll do another hour with in there and another hour and we'll see what it looks like. And same thing, we leave these for an hour, strain them out and see what they look like. So this is a citric acid will be 500 mils of water and one tablespoon of citric acid. The citric acid and salt will be 500 mil of water, one tablespoon of citric acid and one tablespoon of table salt. And the hydrogen peroxide version will be 500 mils of water with uh, 50 mil of hydrogen peroxide and one and a half tablespoons of citric acid. So this one with the hydrogen peroxide will be a lot more uh, acidic um, and corrosive as such. And uh, we'll see if that's actually any better than the other options. All right, let's mix them up. All right, now when making these mixtures up, you always need to use hot water and it helps to Dissolve. There you go, I think that's 500 for all of them. Let's just double check. Yep. Okay, and then just stir. That's nice and easy. Order dissolve now. Okay, first test, you can see quite dirty. There we go. I wonder if this is just underneath the water layer. And as you can see already, they're already looking a lot, lot cleaner. Incredibly so. So let's have a look at that. Yeah. They're already looking very, very good. So that is citric acid only. Okay, let's leave them there for a while. Let's move over to, oh, no, can't move the tripod. This is citric acid and salt. Wow. And you can look at that. Look at that. Before I've even stirred it, they are a far better than these. These are still dark. Look at that. These look brand new already. Isn't that incredible? And to confirm, really dirty. Look at the difference of those. And look at that change. So, salt, 
and citric acid are a guaranteed winner. Let's give it a bit of a stir. Yep, absolutely guaranteed winner. Whereas uh, the citric acid by itself is working, but nowhere near as much. So let's stick this out of the way and move the hydrogen peroxide. The 551 mix has made, or I first heard about it from George from Bardian Hops. Yeah, it's quite the same. Not quite as good as the, or not as instant as the uh, citric acid and salt, but it's pretty close. Pretty close. Let's load this up. You can also see that the solution is going a little bit blue. Yep, and lots of phasing. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> That's chemical reaction. That's some severe chemical reaction. Can I put any more in? Oh, we got a little bit left. Put a bit more in there, more in here. Let's just put the rest in. Yeah, they're looking good. And that water is blue. Well, that's solution, it's not water. So it's not these all behind below the water level. Let's bring that back over. So here we are. Now I've actually left this about 40 minutes and uh, it's quite surprising the results. Citric acid, as you can see, they're, they're nice. Pull some out. They do look good and they're nice and clean. And if I'd have done this by itself, I'd have been very happy. But seeing the citric acid and salt, well, these look just like they did when I bought them and got them out of the pack. Um, absolutely incredible. So that's definitely better. Now, what's odd is the hydrogen peroxide and citric acid. Because some of them, as you can see, are just as clean as the citric acid and salt, but other ones aren't, like these ones down here. Now they're not as bad as the citric acid only, but literally half are beautiful, look brand new, and the other half are quite dark and tainted. Not as bad as just the citric acid, but not as nowhere near as good as, as the uh, citric acid and salt. And then when we look at the Alembic pot head, the citric acid only. It's done a good job, but there are, you can still see the veins and but it's compared to what it was, really good. The citric acid and salt, done an amazing job. Look at that. It's, it's beautiful. And the citric acid and peroxide, now oh, it's done an even better job. But there's a bit of an issue. When I ran these, I ran them all at the same time. So they all had exactly to the minute at the same time to clean and to oxidize once I took them out and washed them and rinsed them with water. Whereas I put this in for 40 minutes, then rinsed it down, 40 minutes, rinsed down, 40 minutes, rinsed down. So that has had like an hour and 20 minutes to sit here with oxygen. And that's had 40 minutes to have with oxygen. And it's only been about 10 minutes. So this naturally is going to look cleaner than this one. When I actually finished both of them, admittedly this one did look a little bit better, but not by much. So this isn't really a great test, um, in all honesty. These are the tests, um, because these were, say, to the minute, they've, they've all had the same amount of oxygen time, once cleaned and once I've taken them out. So there you have it anyway. Um, so I what do you, I would recommend from this test alone is that you'd always do citric acid and salt. This is, remember, table salt. So everyone's got table salt in the house. So it's not exactly going to uh, be a special ingredient that you've got to buy just to do this. 
And then there's also the fact of it's cheap. Citric acid alone is great if you wanted to give it a, a, just a quick clean, but for the extra however many pence, just to add some a tablespoon of salt in there as well, to be honest, I, I wouldn't even consider I'm not doing it without the salt. Hydrogen peroxide, is it worthwhile? No, nah, not really. When you look at the best one and compare the two, realistically, they're about the same. This might be fractionally cleaner, very fractionally from my eye. Admittedly, camera might show a bit differently. But... So if you really wanted a deep clean, yeah, this might be better. But at the same point, as you can see, not all of them are, are that good. So does it mean I'd need more solution? Possibly. Could be more hydrogen peroxide uh, will do the job. But to be honest, for me, this is perfectly enough. So this is all I'd ever do. So there you go. All right, so the last thing we need to do is we need to rinse these off. Now, I've put all of my copper SSP SPPs inside a solution of citric acid and salt. Uh, clearly, that was the best way to do it. Uh, and now you need to rinse it. If, you've got a, if you're doing it in a kitchen sink and you've got one of these, I'd advise plugging it in, because otherwise your SPPs or your column packing will go everywhere. I recommend using a sieve. You can literally just pour it all in. and then rinse out your container. Give it a little go with your hands. There we go. Now, what I'd recommend, personally, what I do, is I'll put a few handfuls like that in here. Switch this around to a spare one. I'll fill that full of water. Well, not full, but halfway. And then it's just getting your hand inside and rotate and move. The reason why I've only taken some of them out rather than doing the whole lot is being that full, you can't get your hand down there. You can't get to the bottom properly or very easily and you'll start crushing your SPP or your column packing. So just do this a few times, get right under there. After a few times, hand over. Now, if you do have any cuts or anything like that, I wouldn't recommend putting your hand over there. Um, use a glove or something, or just have another sieve to use, because obviously you don't want the citric acid getting into your cuts, because that will sting quite a bit. I've got a couple of escapees. And I will do this four times. grabbing the next lot. And then just repeating that until they're all gone through. It does take a bit of time and it is a bit of a pain, but it's not like you need to do this on a regular basis. Um, I will normally um, only do a, a light wash with these in citric acid um, every say four or five still runs it all depends on how dirty they are but obviously this was a uh, full clean there you go uh, i'm gonna leave it here but you can see the principle of it and how it works and this works for me might have your own way of doing it if it works and it's clean, that's great. All right, well, thanks for watching.